Emily here from Red Cage for Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be taking a look at making a custom family template. Uh, we're going to start by using one of the standard Revit templates, family templates. We're going to add some parameters, reference planes, object styles, uh, but no geometry. And then we're going to save it as a, a regular family. We're going to change that file extension uh, from RFA to RFT. And then we're going to basically have a new custom family template. Okay, so over here in Revit, I'm going to say File, New, Family. Today we're going to be using a, a generic model family. And I'm going to be creating the framework for a millwork cabinet panel. So basically just a width, a height, a thickness, and a couple of extra parameters and object styles. We're in our ref level, so I'm going to create the thickness of the panel and one of the sides, uh, the right side of the panel. And don't forget to name your reference planes. Panel front. And we're going to add some dimensions. I'm going to name this one. All right. Okay. I'm going to pop over here to my front view and I'm going to make panel top and I'm going to dimension it and make a parameter called panel height. I'm going to go back to my ref level, make this one panel thickness. and panel width. So now I've set up three parameters um, and three reference planes. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go into my family types box now uh, and I'm going to just make these a, a standard size. Um, but I'm also going to add a couple, uh, just another material parameter, basically. So, panel material, I can't type today. There we go. Material. You can make these type or instance, depending on how you want them to act in the family. Um, so now I've got all the parameters I, would, I want my template to have. I can say OK. And another thing I like to do sometimes is to add a few extra object styles. Um, so I'm just going to go to my object style dialog box here. And I like to add some secondary reference planes so that I can sort of differentiate what's custom from uh, what's standard. So I'm going to add a new object style uh, and I'm going to call it custom planes. Subcategory of reference planes, not lines. I'll say OK, and I can make it uh, a different color. So we'll make it purple. I stick with the same aligning line, even though it looks different. And I'm going to add anything that I've custom made to that custom plane. So now I can see what I've done, uh, even when I'm zoomed in, which reference plane I'm using. OK. So now I'm going to save this, save as family. Uh, and I'm going to call it cabinet panel template. Save. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to go over to where I've saved it. Here's cabinet panel temp family template RFA. I'm going to make a copy of this, you know, just because. And I'm going to change this RFA to RFT, Revit Family Template. So I'm okay with changing the extension. And now, back in Revit, I can say File, New, Family. And I can choose this cabinet template and say open. So now any, anybody who wants to use this 
family template basically has some rules set out for them. You've got your panel top and your panel side. You can't delete these reference planes. Panel height can't delete those parameters. Uh, so they've got a really nice framework laid out for them. Hopefully it can solve some confusion and uh, streamline the process a bit. Okay, thanks for listening. Uh, that's all for today. And uh, have a good one.